write about finding the, those photographs of the recovered bodies? Wh where are they? Yeah, these are these are right after the uh, right after the the, the sinking. Um, you know, of course, bodies were recovered and bodies began coming coming ashore, um, floating ashore. Um, they were stored in uh, they were housed in three uh, makeshift morgues in Queenstown, um, and in order to assure that uh, there was a record of of the, the bodies, they were all photographed before being buried in a in a in a mass grave. Now, I knew these photographs existed, um, and when I was in Liverpool, at the University of Liverpool, which uh, holds the historical Cunard archives, I asked about them, and, uh, and they said, well, we have them, but we're not going to let you see them, because nobody, we don't let anybody see them a anymore. And so, I, fine, I did some more work there, then I asked them again, I said, well, you know, could you ask somebody higher up, maybe, to see if I could, you know? And so the next day I come in and they say, well, we're going to let you look at those photographs. <clears throat> and I said, well, what, what caused the change of heart? <laughs> yeah. They said, well, the senior archivist um, loved Devil in the White City. Uh <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> but these were very, I have, to, I have to say that these were, they would not let me bring my digital camera in, which is the way you do research these days. You photograph documents, you don't Xerox them anymore or photocopy them. Um, Sitting there looking at these these photographs was actually really very powerful and, and moving and very important because it told me that that this is what the story is about. It's not about the conspiracy theories. It's not about all that stuff. It's not about the geopolitics involved. It's about the fact that this was first and foremost a tragedy, a human tragedy of great dimension. And here were these people, men, women, and children in these photographs, dressed, you know, perfectly, wearing exactly what they were wearing at lunch, you know, that day, and looking, frankly, like they could walk out of those photographs, these beautiful old high silver content black and white photographs, looking like they could just walk out of these, these, these photographs and, and, you know, walk onto the stage right here. It was very powerful.